Wow, 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 wow. Big news, ladies and gentlemen. What in the world? Ricky Wysocki is going to be joining Team Dynamic Discs. I'm going to be honest. I just ordered one of every of his discs that he has. So he's got an Explorer. Uh, he's got a Dagger. He's got a Harp. He's got a Felon. He's got an Enforcer. I think that's all of them so far. They're all up on the website if you guys want to check those out. Um, but I'm going to do a video with a round using just his discs. Um, but hey, comment down below. How do you guys feel about Ricky joining Team Dynamic? Are you stoked? Obviously, if you guys are Trilogy fans, you're stoked. Do you think it's a good move? He won two worlds when he was with Latitude. So there we go. He's coming back. He's coming home. Pretty cool stuff. But we're going to watch this little announcement video together. We're going to talk about this. I'm stoked. I never really do videos like this on this channel, but I think it's fun. So uh, let's see what we got, all right? You know, we always used to say, well, we're almost there. We're almost there. And uh, I've been in that warehouse. It's sick. I saw it when it was under construction. I can't wait to go back uh, this year for uh, the Dynamic just open. In the early days with Dynamic, um, we were almost there, but we weren't where we are today. And, and that's pretty cool that with, with the sport now, we are... It, it has just exploded. There he is. You know, disc golf has so much influence and so many people are involved in it. Yeah. Okay, the stamp on the back of that shirt, yes. I need to send in all of my Circle One shirts and get them freaking stamped up. Let's go. Yeah, it's definitely surreal that, that I'm an employee of Dynamic Discs and sharing disc golf all over the world. Sick. What really felt like Dynamic Discs was becoming a household disc golf name in 2010 when Eric McCabe won his first world championship and uh, things just definitely Let's go. progressed and grew from there and uh it, it's been an exciting an exciting ride along the way so uh Kona Panis also flew on this helicopter I thought it was pretty cool that they that they had them fly in this helicopter I wonder how close it was to the actual headquarters um either way it's, it's kind of a cool shot we're excited for the future well I think a lot of people don't realize that um you know we wanted to grow our foundation grow our infrastructure and part Proto of that wait a second was um prototype is is ricky getting a new mold is he making a new mold just making sure that we could grow the foundation and so we or was that just an evader off the radar in some regards in terms of the high level professional disc golf scene for a few years and we wanted to get back to that yeah so one of the things that we come need, on in order to achieve our goals in 2022 we needed to turn a new chapter and bring in some additional firepower and part of that was bringing in the big gun. Look, look, at, uh, dude, these, oh gosh, looks so sick. Rick is obviously a very smart player, and I don't think he's going to make it easy for anybody. Two-time yeah. world champion, Ricky Wasaki. What's up? Look like he is, he's showing any signs of slowing down. <laughs> you got to love his laugh, man. He's such a joyful person. We felt like partnering with Ricky Wysocki was the right decision for us because he has built such an incredible brand with the Saki Bomb brand. He's the number yeah. rated player in the world. He competes week in and week out, and we are confident that he is going to win multiple world titles over the coming years. And Dude, let's go. And having Ricky Wysocki at the top of what we're doing in terms of a lot of our media marketing and promotion is something that I think that's going to help set us apart and allow us to continue to grow. I was there for that. Look at this. Oh, go. <laughs> what? I was playing. Uh, I think I was playing. I was finishing up my... No, was I? What was I there for? I was literally there when that happened. Yes. But I wasn't at that hole. I heard it from the other side. I heard everybody yelling. Oh, no, I was, uh, I was, I was Yuli's caddy when that happened. And we were all like, what the heck just happened over there? <laughs> Yeah. So coming back to these discs and this plastic uh, is definitely an amazing feeling because I've, I've obviously, obviously won two world championships. So I actually have an old uh, two-time Ricky Explorer in my garage. Uh, maybe I need to start trying to throw it. Shoot. Lots of other events. And or give it to him. A confidence booster. I think that it's a fun uh, new adventure that I'm switching back to, to Dynamic and the Trilogy family. Yeah. I, I get to be throwing daggers, harps, and all kinds of uh, discs we're going to be coming out with in the future, which I'm super excited about. Discs we're going to be coming out with in the future, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? New protos? 
So it's been amazing working with Dynamic Discs and, and their vision with coming out with new products, new discs, and uh, that's something I've, I've definitely wanted to do at this stage of my career. I feel like uh -huh. I, I built a brand, I built a name for myself to where I'm influencing people to throw discs and I wanna I wanna come out with amazing products and discs that fly great, yeah. fly great for not just me, but for the general public to enjoy as well. It's an amazing support system here at Hashtag Team Dynamic Discs. It just means a lot, not just to me, but it, it should show the disc golf community how supportive the Dynamic Disc is to growing this. Okay, let me just say this. Okay, he's talking about how supportive Dynamic Disc is to growing the community. Y'all, I reached out to them on Twitter a couple years ago um, because a bunch of you guys uh, told me that I should do that, some of my fans from gaming and everything. And I cannot uh, say, like more about how inviting uh and just amazing team dynamic has been working with eric and all the other guys and and like i'm just i'm a content creator you know like i'm not <laughs> i'm not i'm not a big name um and the way that they've treated me even is just like uh amazing uh team gd man like it is it is such a good community and i genuinely am so grateful to be uh, a part of it and to work with them. Uh, yeah, it's, it's good, man. They are growing the sport and I absolutely like, I, I can't, I can't speak enough about how much I love, uh, being a part of this team, honestly. Sport on, from the ground level. So all the Saki Bomb supporters and fans, um, I'm super thankful for. It's It's been an amazing journey, not just this year, uh, being able to be back on tour and seeing all the fans and spectators out on the courses. Um, but I'm hoping you guys can can join me in the in the trilogy journey that I'm that I'm that I'm going on. Yeah. And I'm hoping you guys can enjoy the disc and enjoy the family as much as I do. Woo! Let's go. Okay. Who saw it coming? That's another question. Who saw it coming? Also, um, like I said, so let me. I'll pull up uh, his discs real quick. All right, so we're on the website right now. You guys can see, uh, you can't see my mouse, but we've got the uh, dagger. Whoop, you can't see my mouse. We've got the dagger right here, which looks sick. I actually don't know that I've ever thrown a dagger. Um, the enforcer, which is going to be beefy. I'm happy that I have one of those or that I just ordered one. The harp, which I've been throwing a lot more. You can see he's holding a harp right here. This felon is going to be disgusting. I cannot wait to throw it. And then I feel like in this orbit plastic, it's going to beat up and just be like so sick i cannot wait and then the explorer i've thrown a couple of times like it's a zero two so you guys would think that it would be something that i throw a lot um just because i like more neutral understable stuff um i just haven't put in that much uh work into it honestly like i have my discs that i love um but i am i am so stoked i'm so stoked for all these so we can click on this you can see the harp is glow wait some of this stuff is some of it already sold out <laughs> Wait, is the felon already sold out? I think that the felon might already be sold. Is it? Oh, uh, no. Yeah. I just ordered one of the last ones. Let's go. <laughs> so you guys can't get the felon right now. Um, You know I'm going to throw it. Like, I'm going to throw it. I have to. I'm not going to not throw the felon. Um, that's freaking sick, man. And then we've got, uh, the dagger. So the dagger is a zero one, two, five, zero one. That's pretty sick. The enforcer is a beast. Um, the enforcer is a, uh, 12, four, 0 0.54. So I feel like this is going to be like his destroyer for him. Maybe not too sure about uh, the numbers on that. And then wait, here's a, oh, we can't, you can't grab it though. Um, Opto Explorer. So obviously, um, Emerson Keith still has his Explorer as well. And I think these are just kind of like a first, like, Hey, he joined the team, buy all these out. And then he'll come out with his own like tour series, uh, discs and all that kind of stuff. So seven, five, zero, two, sick. Um, and then the harp is that four, three, zero, three. So man, I am amped. You guys let me know how y'all are feeling about it if you're stoked uh, and whatnot because, man, I am I am all about it. I am all about it. I think that's going to be a great year uh, for Dynamic, for Disc Golf and everything. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Uh, seriously, I appreciate all the support on all my videos. Um, you guys are the best. Thank you. Peace out.